Hi, I'm David Rosales, Senior Pastor of Calvary Chapel, Chino Valley. Last week, we took an in-depth look at the doctrine of the resurrection to truly understand its importance to the Christian faith. Perhaps you've asked yourself, what if there is no such thing as resurrection? What if Jesus had not been resurrected? You're not alone in your questioning, as the Apostle Paul addressed this very issue in 1 Corinthians 15, verses 12 through 19. Paul listed six negatives that would exist if there were no resurrection. First, Paul said in verse 14, if Christ is not risen, then our preaching is empty. This meant that there would be nothing worth preaching because we would have no, no heavenly hope. Second, Paul also said in verse 14, if Christ is not risen, then your faith is also empty. Our faith would be worthless because a dead savior cannot give life or reward faithfulness. Third, in verse, verses 15 and 16, Paul said, we are found false witnesses of God because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ whom he did not raise up if in fact the dead do not rise. For if the dead do not rise, then Christ is not risen. This meant that the apostles were liars because Jesus would have still been dead. Fourth, Paul stated in verse 17, if Christ is not risen, your faith is futile. You are still in your sins. This meant that everyone would still be slaves to their sins instead of washed clean from them. We would still be in our sinful condition with no hope. Fifth, in verse 18, Paul said, then also those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. Without the resurrection, their destiny would be eternal damnation. There would be no hope and no salvation. Sixth, Paul concluded his list by saying, if in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men the most pitiable. Essentially, he was saying that without the resurrection, the Christian life would be a pitiful joke. It would be ridiculous for us to endure the hardships that we face as believers. The Christian life is not an easy life. In fact, it can be at times very difficult, but it is a satisfying life it's filled with hope, love, faith, purpose, blessings, joy, and forgiveness. When the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross and was buried, he took upon himself our sins. When he was raised from the dead, he was raised for our justification. The fact that Jesus took upon himself our sins and was raised from the dead demonstrates that he has the power to bear our sins away from us and can cause us to stand before God and be declared not guilty. And so, I rest my hope, not on vague promises, but on the fact of the resurrection of Jesus Christ.